Most kids will probably never see a wombat. However, they find wombats really interesting. I think it's because they know the name and it sounds kind of silly and it's like, hey, here's a wombat. Here's a wombat. Wally, the world's greatest piano playing wombat. It's an illustrated book by Ratha Tep with illustrations by Camilla Pontanato. And the illustrations perfectly match the text. The text, as you can see, it's brevity. And I love illustrated books or picture books that are brief. They don't have too many words, but they still tell a really great story in, a, in kind of an allegorical sense that let kids fill in the blanks. Because much like Tig Notaro said, you don't want to have to explain the joke. And you don't want to have to explain everything in an illustrated book to kids. And they get this. Wally plays the piano. He's really good at it. Until one day, this other guy shows up. And this other guy is even better. So Wally gets really frustrated. He gets super frustrated and he quits the piano. But guess what happens? The other piano player, whose name turns out to be Wiley, reaches out to Wally and says, Hey, I liked it when we played the piano together because it made me better. Let's team up. That's the great story. So the two team up until one day they become the best playing piano playing wombats. And then suddenly, you'll never guess what happens, somebody else comes down that's even better. So what's the message of the book? Is it that you, should, you shouldn't play pianos with a wombat? No. The message of the book is to, to never give up and always be confident. Be confident in what you do. And that's something that a lot of kids need to hear a couple of different times. I mentioned this, as I said here, to some of my fifth graders last year because they were talking about their basketball skills or their baseball skills. And I was like, dudes... I hear you, and you're really good at this sport, or this thing, or this whatever. However, you need to get better, because there's always going to be somebody better. And they were like, no, I'm not, Mr. Trey, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, great book. I mention that because those kids who sincerely and genuinely didn't believe me when I said there's somebody better at you than what you think you're great at, they needed to read this. Wally, the world's greatest piano playing wombat. It is awesome. And it's from a new publisher that we've started getting some books from. It's from Princeton Architectural Press. Very cute book. It's going to be great for early elementary school kids all the way through fourth grade. And this is Trey with Daddy Mojo.